He's just starting from fresh. I've invited him to my Silver Ridge Peaks map. So we're gonna be playing with my son. His name is Daniel. I don't have a webcam for him, but if we do it more, then I'll get him a webcam. But right now, you're just gonna see me, but you, we're gonna be together in Discord. Are you there? Uh, yeah, hi everyone. Sorry, we're just trying to figure out how to open chat right now. So I'm gonna do a loadout. So he has nothing. So he's really starting from scratch. So if you are a new player, this is a good stream to get in on because I'm gonna be teaching him everything from step one. Say, Mr. Daniel, that's his name. He's 18, he'll be 19 in October. He's almost 19. Hey guys, let me know in the comments, do you think Daniel looks like me? We're gonna head straight into it. Oh, so I'm sense. gonna carry tents with me. This is my yeah, so. son who, he, he's been editing my videos, so. Yeah. <laughs> he's my editor. He doesn't edit every single video. I do still edit some of them, but he has been doing a lot of editing for me and that has been awesome. He's doing an awesome job. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the 243. So in a second, I'm gonna get you to come up here and you're gonna load your loadout out, which is going to be interesting because you're not gonna have very much at all. I think uh, dad got that set up for me already. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So what we're really gonna be doing is just trying to shoot and I can't shoot things for you because if I shoot it and you pick it up, I still get paid for it. So you gotta shoot and kill things yourself. So I'm gonna teach you how to shoot, where to aim and okay. Have I played any hunting games before this? Yeah, we have a lot of, um, we spend a lot of time on those Wii games. Yeah, that's what we started with. In terms of like realistic hunting simulators, I don't have any experience. No. You're getting some right now. So whenever we go to an outpost, Daniel, you need to go up to the flagpole and just accept it. And that will unlock that so that when you do go to your own map, these will be unlocked for you. If you unlock it on my map, when you go to your map, it will be unlocked. So tents are part of a DLC. You can buy them. They're very expensive. The DLC comes with, I think, two or three freebies. And then they're $16,000 each. You also have wimpier binoculars that I have. Eventually you will level up and be able to unlock better binoculars. But really the focus is when you first start playing is to shoot and harvest as many animals as you possibly can so that you can level up to level 60 and unlock all the better equipment. Where are you? Okay, so when you go to shoot, when you press control, you're gonna crouch, okay? When you take a shot, you wanna be crouched or you can even go prone if you hold down Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. So oh, if you had cool. animals, they didn't spook, so we're good. We got quite a few animals over here. If you hold down Z, I know we're Canadian, we say Z, it, you can go prone and that will give you the steadiest shot possible. Now, when you have an animal that is broadside, like this guy that I've highlighted, that's the easiest shot to take. You want to aim right behind the shoulder blade, basically halfway up the body, halfway from the spine to the bottom, right in the middle. That's where you want to aim. Should I be considering any drop-off from the distance because I don't have to zero in? Well, you're automatically zeroed to 150, and as long oh. as we're 200 meters or closer, then you should be fine. Oh, now they're all spooking. <laughs> so basically, when you spot an animal, you have no skills and no perks, like you're a base bottom. So it's gonna get like way, way easier for you as time goes on. Okay, so travel to that tent. The tent is down. What are we hunting? We're not hunting anything in particular. I'm just trying to teach him how to hunt. So whatever we come across is gonna die. So then come on up to this flagpole and discover this baby. He's probably still traveling. There we go. So this one right here, and that'll unlock this outpost. So basically, because you're such a low level, uh, you're gonna make more noise when you move. It's gonna be easier for you to spook things than me, but that'll yeah. change as you level up. Missions are great for learning and leveling up, but we're just playing with you guys. So animals in the game either go to level three, level five, or level nine. Predators go to level nine. There are always exceptions to every rule. And of course, I don't expect you to remember everything that I tell you, but you basically you do learn as you go on. There is like nothing here. Uh, whatever it is you're shooting, you want to shoot it with the correct ammo. Okay, so you want to be spotting around water and you don't want to run up to water because you're going to spook animals away, especially as a low level player. I'm 50 meters away from you still. So. Normally I can run up to about 200 meters, but that's with full skills and perks and you don't have any. Daniel's a gamer. He's more of a gamer than I am. You play normally play your games on mouse and keyboard, Daniel? Yeah, I'm a big uh, keyboard person. There are certain games that can only be played on controller, but I'd prefer keyboard over anything. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, I can't see the stinking bighorn for you to shoot. It, it's in the grass. They're just leaving to annoy me. It's working. It's definitely working. It's very annoying. <laughs> Oh, 
gosh, that's crazy. All right, we're going to another lake. <laughs> we're definitely not, not in the ballpark for a diamond today. That would be pretty insane. I'm just trying to teach him. He's literally level one. If we could get him to level two or three today, that would be a huge victory. We should have some bighorn down here. And we have piles of them. And we have a beautiful, beautiful wind. So hopefully we should be able to shoot something down here. Should I be running or? You can run right now. Run up to about 250 meters and then start walking just because you're low level. And we're going to get you to go right up to 200 meters. And we're going to take our shots from 200 meters. Once you get your first kill, man, I'm going to pop champagne. It's going to be awesome. And there is one that's nice and broadside for you. Crouch down. So, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight, how about this level three here? Do you know where to aim? Yeah, like up right above their shoulders, you said? Right behind the shoulder blade, basically halfway between the top and bottom of their body, right in the middle. And you wanna hold your breath right before you go to shoot, and then once you have the shot lined up, just go ahead and press the button on your mouse. I have to re-highlight. Okay, so whenever you're ready, go for it. it. Says invalid target. Uh, you're right behind me. You gotta move around me. I'm in your way. Yeah, don't shoot your mom. <laughs> I have to catch my breath now. Right? Yep. So just wait a second. Your heart rate will decrease, but you can't hold your breath for a long time. So you hold your breath and then take your shot fairly quickly, especially as a new player. Okay. I Jeez, I'm trying to get one too. Okay, so then when you open up the, the uh, map, if you have purple, that's hunting pressure. I think you got one. Oh. At least one of us did. Let's awesome. go see what happens. So let's run right over there. Now we're not worried about spooking anything because everything is already spooked. Oh, there is animals on the other side. Let's try and shoot another one before we go over there. Okay, so this guy's 256 meters. What I did was I spotted him and then I press M for map and then you see the green circle. That's always gonna show the last animal highlighted and then I put my waypoint on it. So that way, even when I move, I can tell how far the animal is always away from me. Oh, there's another one that's perfectly broadside. Oh, that might've been a little bit too low. I don't think you touched them. That's okay. No worries. Let's go see what we got over here. Totally okay. So you pick this up. Actually, I'll pick it up. I got this guy. Okay, so right click on your mouse once you go in. Go in and then right click. Okay, dog. But can you see exactly where I shot the animal with by the picture? I don't even know what that is, but it, it ended up in the right lung. Mm-hmm. But that's basically that. where you want to aim. So I'm just trying to show you visually for next yeah, time. I see that then. Okay, you can just accept it, and then I get paid for it. I have my dog to track it. The dog is a DLC. Let's see. Is there a Discord server? There certainly is. Absolutely. Yeah, can we get the Discord link? There it is right there. You got it, Daniel! Awesome. You, you got a vital! You. That's your first kill. Oh my gosh, you almost... Oh, it doesn't show me, actually, the shot when it's multiplayer, but it will show you. It says you got right long. Yeah, that's your first kill. There you go. Awesome. Pick that up, have a look at where you hit it. You did great. So have a look at where you shot. So that's the scorecard. And so once you're done with that, you don't want to taxi it. It's not a trophy. So just press enter and you will get paid. Beautiful. Okay, so we want to keep doing that until you level up and you will start to get skill points, skill or perk points. And then we will start to uh, spend those. Help. I'll help you spend them. So as you level up, you'll be able to hold your breath for longer. You'll be able to zero, like basically if you have an animal 300 meters away, you with a lot of rifles, you can zero zero right for 300. If you shoot without zeroing the way you are at something that's 300 meters away, you're actually going to end up shooting underneath it because you're automatically zeroed to 150 until you get yeah. zeroing. All right, let's go to Savannah. Okay, I'll send you an invite once I got my feet on the ground. Yeah, you guys can ask Daniel questions if you would like. Yeah, I've been trying to read up on chat, but I don't always get the chance to answer. Oh, is my mom here? Hi, mommy. I told you I was going to be playing with Daniel. Grandma's here, Dan. Hi, Grandma. Oh, I got animals here already. All kinds of them. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got Gemsbok here. Now, when you spot the animal, does it tell you what class the animal is? Spot this wildebeest. This is a class six animal. So underneath the uh, orange bar in the top right corner, there's like a uh, oh, the number there. An antlered yes. animal with a number. That's the, the yeah. class. So you, you want to use ammo that covers that class. Now you're using the 243, and the 243 is good for classes 2 to 6. So 
you're good with the 243. Now, normally what I would do is just zero to 300 and shoot the sky from right here. You know what I could get you to do is aim for right at the spine. He's 230 meters from us right here. So you can crouch and then aim and you'll have bullet drop and you should get a good shot right above where the shoulder blade would be. Okay, so I think you missed. So I took a shot and I got him. That's all right. Oh, there's a lion over there! They're class nines. You definitely do not have a class nine <laughs> weapon. We could get you the rhino out, but you wouldn't have the scope either. And the question, you what games do I play? I used to be really into shooters. Like, uh, I know someone mentioned CSGO and Valorant and stuff like that. But nowadays I play a lot of League and RPG type games. Oh, there's an albino wildebeest! <laughs> There's a level two female albino wildebeest. That's a trophy. I would love for you to shoot this. Okay, come come over where I am. Actually, fast travel to the tent that I just traveled to. Let's, uh, we're gonna try and get him to shoot his very first rare from level, what are you, level one? I think so. Oops, I didn't mean to whistle, sorry. See that white wildebeest? That's an albino. Look at that. I'm trying to highlight it, but I just can't. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Now that guy, girl, is 182 meters, so basically just aim. We're, we're just gonna walk down. Let's crouch. Now if you press cap lock while you're crouched and walking, there are two different speeds for crouch walking. There's a really, really slow one and there's a faster one. Use the faster one. Just press it and then press it again to try the two different speeds out. She's exactly 150 meters, so you're gonna get exactly where you aim. So you got the 243, so you wanna aim halfway up her body, basically where her leg would be, right behind the shoulder blade. Okay, now if you don't get it, I'm gonna try and shoot it for you and you can keep it. Yeah, you don't wanna shoot it in the head or the spine because that you won't get full score. It's just a female, so as long as you kill it, that's what really matters. But if it were a male, it would matter more if that you got a good shot. I don't think I have one. Yeah, you're gonna have a trophy your dad doesn't have. And you can go na 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 na. Oh, that looked okay. good! You definitely hit it, it's not dropping. Okay, yeah, that is. I put another shot into it, so it will definitely die. Now let's go look for it. Good shot! Let's let's have a look at what you actually hit. So once you do get some cash together, you're gonna wanna buy better 243 ammo. You're gonna want the polymers and level up your skill and perk points, yeah. I don't know if you got a good shot on it, but it will die. It's taken a very long time to drop in health. Okay, I'm gonna have a little peek here. Here's all our albino. It's a good thing I put a shot into her butt. Oh. Okay, you got, I think you were too low. You need to aim a little higher. But if I, yeah, if I didn't put the shot, the second shot in. But what I want you to do is I want you to press H and save this so you can put it in your trophy lodge later when you have money to taxi it and when you do have a lodge, but that's your first albino. Stand behind it, yeah. Yeah. Hey dog, how'd you like to shut up? Okay, you can take it. Did you save it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm did you see right. where you hit so that you can aim higher next time? It, I hit a bone instead okay, of- Okay, that's because you have soft points and the soft points are absolutely garbage. Once you get some enough money together, then we'll get you the polymers and then you're, you'll have more success with the shots, right? Yeah. Gritlick Grimace's first albino cool, Daniel. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a five medium gems book! Oh, that thing is huge. I don't have one on PC. He doesn't have a weapon for it. I am so mean. No, I'm shooting this. I can't believe that's there. I These things troll like 99% of the time. And now he just vanished on me. Now we'll go, <coughs> af we'll go after that five medium gum spock tomorrow. It still will be there. That's my, my map. Okay, I don't know what. I put a bullet into it too. Okay, so let's go see what happened. It went splat! Uh, you got left lung, Daniel! You got a vital! Awesome. Let's go. I actually ruined it! <laughs> I got flesh and then you got flesh. But your first shot is left lung, so have a look at where you aimed there and just duplicate that. And you'll get some money out of that. Another s oh, 700 bucks, so even more this time. Beautiful. I got 100 out of that, so because you did all the hard work. Are you getting a better idea of where to aim? It's just, yeah. it, it's the holding your breath part that's hard right now, isn't it? Yeah, Dad explained to me, like, the perfect place to aim. Yeah. 
You got it! You got it! I'm pretty sure you got a perfect shot. It started to drop right away. Good job. You got the second one too! You're killing it now! That's awesome. Good job. This one you got a vital for sure. You got left lung. Beautiful job. I got almost a thousand bucks from that. I know! Are you having fun? Yeah. Isn't this fun? Oh, you got a vital on this one too! So by the end of hunting with my son for two hours, he was getting vital shots from level two using only the soft points with the 243. So not easy. We will be doing more streams together and I will continue to help him to level up and learn to play the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I hope you learned a lot with today's video too. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.